Hey everyone, it's Haley, and today I'm going to be talking about some books that I think need adaptations. So whether it be movie or TV, these are just some books, like it's literally just the tip of the iceberg for books that I would love to see on the big screen. Some of them would definitely be better as like TV series so then more could happen, but some I think would also make awesome movies. So I have a variety of books here of different genres. Some of them might have like inklings of a possible movie deal, but I stayed away, or like adaptation deal I mean, but I stayed away from like Daisy Jones of the Six, which has actively been casting, and also like Heartstopper by Alice Oseman has been casting. I kind of stayed away from those that might be getting that adaptation soon because there's a lot of times where like books will get a movie deal, the rights will be bought, but then the movie never actually happens or it happens way, way down the road. So I tried to go with books that I haven't really heard all that much about a movie actually happening, and this is the list that I have ended up with. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first up is Felix Ever After by Case and Calendar. I think this would make the cutest rom-com. Like I'm thinking something along the lines of Simon Love Simon as the adaptation was, but Simon versus the Homo Sapiens agenda. I think that this would be adorable. Like just translate into film so well and be a story that is really important for other people people to see themselves on the big screen. So this is a story about a transgender boy, Felix, and he finds himself in this quasi love triangle. He's dealing with transphobic bullying. Someone has revealed his dead name and pictures of him before he transitioned, and he just ends up in a situation that he wasn't expecting, and all the while he is trying to figure out who he is. He's grappling with his identity. So I think this is a story that everyone could relate to. Like, the discussions of identity and the questions that Felix has, I think are something that so many teenagers can identify with. And Felix was just such a lovable character and someone that I think so many people could see themselves in. So he had the cutest love story. It was amazing. And this is a story that is like tugging on your heartstrings, but also cute at the same time, just like Love, Simon. There are so many happy moments, but also some moments that are going to completely break your heart. And I think that this would just make a fantastic adaptation. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I think they might be doing a TV miniseries on this. I'm pretty sure that there was something announced, which I hope that happens because it would be absolutely incredible. So fingers crossed that that happens. But like I said, like it's hard to keep up with that stuff because the rights will be bought, but then nothing happens. But I hope that this one does get to see its moment. Next up is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. I think that this mystery could do really well if adapted. It's very cool and twisted and has so many elements to it. And I think that it could be a really creepy, interesting adaptation. So it's set at this boarding school in Vermont and it's in like the woods and it's a very strange building. There's a very small class. They all have like a specialization and the main character, she really loves, like she is obsessed with murder mysteries and all of that, which I feel like a lot of people are. I personally am not because I am a chicken, but that is like a thing. A lot of people love those podcasts. So I think that she would be a character that would definitely be someone that people could relate to. But she has this school that she goes to and there was this murder way back when and now some things have started like in modern day but it's alternating between then and now you get little bits of the past and I just think that it could be really cool to see this mystery come to life. You could see like the actual mansion and see the different time periods. I can just totally picture it really well and I think it would be an edge of your seat kind of read and really interesting. Next up is the Downstairs Girl by Stacey Lee. So I feel like there have been very few historical fiction adaptations. Like 
obviously The Book Thief, and then there was also Ashes in the Snow, which was between Shades of Grey, but I never actually watched that adaptation yet, and then I can't really think of any others, but I think that that's kind of a missed opportunity. So the Downstairs Girl in particular, I think could be so fun, but also really important. So you follow this girl who she is a Chinese American woman living in Atlanta in 1890. And she ends up starting this column, which is it's an agony aunt, I believe it's what it's called, but it's for a newspaper. And she uses the success of this column where she's writing as Miss Sweetie to critique society and like show the things that are wrong and obviously a lot of people are really upset by that so then people are trying to figure out who it is who is writing this stuff and it's just a really interesting shake up in the south with like the racism that is running rampant there and also like the way women are treated at that time too like the suffragette movement is starting to come about and I think that it could be really fun, but also really educational at the same time, which is why I would love to see an adaptation of this. I would love to see, like, one of my main issues with this was I wish that the Miss Sweetie storyline and kind of the hunt for who it was was a little bit more prevalent to the story because there were kind of a lot of facets to it, but I think in an adaptation that that storyline could really be brought to light. So the thing with adaptations is like if you adapted a book word for word to the movie, it just would not be as enjoyable because they're different formats. So the story is meant to be a little bit different. So I personally view them as different things and I don't mind when things are changed a little bit. So keep that in mind when like I'm talking about any of these books, like they should be kind of tweaked a little bit to be successful as a movie or TV show or whatever. Also, I did want to mention, I do plan on doing a video where I'm talking about like all the adaptations that I've seen. So keep an eye out for that. But I'm probably going to do like Hannah did a video where she ranked them. So I think I might do that. It seems like fun. Next is Psy the by Neil Shusterman. I think this would be so cool as an adaptation. Like really interesting. So it's a world where it's a utopic society. There's no disease. People don't die naturally anymore. So you have these scythes that go around and they glean people. So they kill them to keep the population under control. So there is like a lot happening in these books. And I just think it would make such an interesting adaptation, like very different than anything that I've ever seen before in TV or movies. It's such a unique story storyline that I think would be so cool brought to life. I can only imagine like the edge of your seat feeling actually watching this story play out with everything that happens throughout the whole trilogy. I think it could make a really cool TV show. I mean a movie too but I feel like you wouldn't really be able to like fit everything in there. So I think a TV show for this would be very interesting. Speaking of, next is Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Groudon. So obviously this is a story that I personally love a lot. I've talked about it a lot but I also think that this kind of like scythe is like such a gritty and interesting and unique story that would be so cool if it adapted. So I actually kind of think of, I haven't watched it, but The Man in the High Castle, that is sort of similar because it's an alternate history story where the Axis powers won World War II. So in that way, it has kind of been done before. But in this one, you have this really high stakes motorcycle race. And the main character, she is Jewish and she escaped from the camp that she was in. And now she is taking on an assignment to assassinate Hitler and compete in this motorcycle race to do that. I am not going to miss this busy street that we live on. It is so annoying. Actually, that was kind of appropriate because it was probably a motorcycle. I don't really know. But anyways, I just can see that like being another edge of your seat sort of like what's going to happen thing to watch. Something that's fresh and new and interesting and would just be super cool. Next is Opposite of Always by Justin A. Reynolds. Justin A. Reynolds is a fantastic writer and his characters are so cool, but he also writes contemporaries with a twist. And for me, me, like I'm not really big into movies or TV shows but I like something kind of fresh and new and I think that a lot of these books kind of reflect that like there's something that's never really been done before there's something a little bit different about them that would be super cool to see 
actually like in front of you. So this story is a romance story, but it's also a time looping situation. So the main character, Jack, he meets a girl named Kate, they fall in love, and then she ends up dying. And her death ends up sending him through this time loop where he keeps on going back and trying to save her. So this would be like a really heartbreaking story, but also it has the potential to be so beautiful and like a really different sort of rom-com story. And I think that would be awesome. Next up is American Royals by Catherine McGee. I guess there's just something about alternate history stories that I just want to see them adapted, but this is an alternate history set in the US, and instead of offering George Washington the presidency at the end of the Revolutionary War, he was offered a crown. So now you are following his descendants, the royal family who is still in power. And there are so many things happening in here. It really reminds me of Gossip Girl a lot, so I can just see that like being adapted because it's kind of the twist web of things and those stories I think tend to do pretty well as like definitely this one I think a TV series as well but with following this royal family like especially with America and like there's such a fascination with royalty that I think imagining an American royal family could be something that a lot of people would very much be interested in. But with all of the different romances in here, all of the different twisted things between these siblings from the royal family, I could just, oh, all the drama, it would be great. Next up is Ray Bearer by Jordan Ifueko. So this is just a book that like completely blew me away with how unique the fantasy storyline was. And I found the world building to be really cool and I could visualize everything, but I also want to like actually see it played out in front of me because I think that it could be so interesting. It's a very like twist and turn sort of story that I think would translate really well. You have a lot of characters and I think that they all have such distinct personalities that I would love to see like who would play them and how the story would go, like how the rays would actually work. This is about a girl who she's really desperate for human connection. She has this mother, the lady, but it's like she's never actually allowed to see her. So she gets the opportunity to be a ray bearer, which I mean, is it ray bearer? Is that what actually what it's called? I can't remember. But one of the people who has like a ray that connects to the prince and they protect him. They're like his council and there's like seven or eight of them. I just think that this story would be super cool. Like the world was fascinating, really interesting, and I want to see it. Next up is Allegedly by Tiffany D. Jackson. This book, like I, I can't really say too much about why it would make a great adaptation, but I just think I would love to see how it would play out. This book, particularly the ending, has a lot of mixed feelings on it. I personally thought it was risky and I liked that. So I do have mixed feelings on it personally, but in a way I did really enjoy it. And I think this is a book that an adaptation would get a lot, like it would be talked about a lot because you're kind of like, wait, what? Like, what did I just read? And those stories, I think, tend to make really interesting adaptations. So I think this is another one. I mean, I can see this as a movie or a TV show, but I feel like with a TV show, it would be really interesting to, like, get to know the characters and particularly the main character. And once again, this is kind of a true crime sort of story as well, although, like, it's not true crime because it's not reality, but it's about a girl who she is in prison and actually she has now moved to a group home but when she was a kid she murdered a baby and that's allegedly she murdered a baby so it's told from her perspective and it's just so interesting and like I I can only imagine how this would be as an adaptation. Next up is An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. I picture this as being an adaptation in the likes of like Shadow and Bone where they really nailed it. They did a great job. This definitely would have to be a TV series, but oh my goodness, does it have the potential to be amazing. You're following this really interesting world, like kind of Roman Empire-esque, and then you have two characters coming from different sides of it. And they just both have such interesting stories that I feel like this would be absolutely incredible. I want to see this one come to life. I want to see like, everything about it. It's so high stakes and keeps you on the edge of your seat and I just, I need this adaptation now. Next is another one that I think there might be some inklings of an adaptation. The rights were definitely bought but I'm not sure like what happened from there but that is War Cross by Marie Lu. Immediately after reading this book I was like I need to see this adapted and there are some books that I've had that with. I feel like I might be forgetting some on this list but this is for sure one that I always think about how great an adaptation could be. 
it's a world like it's a futuristic story where the world has this VR game that everyone is playing and that's like where they live so I would love to see how vibrant that could be like actually coming to life before you I can only like imagine so much and I would love to see how that would be adapted because I think it could be really interesting super cool and I would just love that like honestly I really want this one there's so many twists and turns to the story the world is fascinating oh I just really want to see it next up like I said I feel like YA historical fiction kind of is a missed opportunity like there aren't that many adaptations so I feel like you can probably guess but I would love to see Lovely War by Julie Berry adapted this follows two love stories and I think that a movie could do a really good job of, ha I mean, even a TV show, but having those two love stories and how in this book they're interwoven. I think the one thing that I would be, I'm not sure how it would translate into film is the fact that it's two love stories set during World War One, but they, it's narrated by the Greek gods. And I'm not sure how that would translate so much. I feel like that could kind of come across as corny. And I don't know, I'm not so sure about that one. It's kind of like how telepathy doesn't really translate all that well into film sometimes but I would be willing to like go into it with an open mind. I think even if they decided to kind of like do that part in a different way then it could be so good and like heartbreaking but beautiful at the same time so there definitely would need to be some tweaks for this one. Finally this is definitely one that would need to be a tv series and that is The Diviners by Libba Bray. I want it, I need it literally immediately. I think this could be so cool. The like 1920s ghost story set in New York City, all of the characters, like can you imagine them just actually existing, actually being before your eyes? Like oh my gosh, this would be fantastic. There's so much material to work with, like literally I can, I just need this. I absolutely need it. Kind of once again, I hope like it would get the budget of like Shadow and Bone where it's able to reach its full potential. I just Mm -hmm. This is at top of the wish list. Okay, so those are just a few of the books that I really hope that we get to see an adaptation for one day. There are a lot of books that I feel like could be really great adapted, and this is just a starting point, really. But please let me know what books you think should have an adaptation, because I would love to know. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in a new one soon. Bye!